Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Dr. Edward Padama and for your subject academic writing, we are going to have the first presenter, Mr. Reginald Villacorta, presenting his proposed research study. Mr. Villacorta, the floor is yours. You can start. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Ed Padama, for the introduction. And uh, right now, my, my uh, research title is Tepid Policy Based. Partnership with Networking Tool, Networking as a Tool in the Improvement of Regada Escuela in the Division of Las Piñas City. Being an Education Program Specialist too in the Division of Las Piñas City, I am the one who is responsible in the different mechanisms, different uh, ways on how we will be able to uh, implement Regada Escuela in the Division of Las Piñas City. So uh, this is a uh, division-wide and all the, school, all the public schools are uh, are included in the implementation of Regatta Escuela. Now, as part of the introduction, uh, what we have here is the rationale. We are, we're in, it is catered in the Bayanihan. It's a major Filipino custom that binds Filipinos not only in terms of vocation, but most especially in terms of crisis. So Bayanihan is the formidable uh, basis or platform of Regatta Escuela, wherein it is being uh, implemented in all the public schools in the Philippines. Okay? And uh, one of the major initiatives of the Department of Education in the times of back to school period is Brigada Escuela or the National Maintenance Week, Debit Order Number 79 Series of 2003, wherein uh, this is a, a uh, in a voluntary manner, where it, it, it also uh, invites the participation of all the community members coming from private and public sector. Okay. So, uh, okay, uh, Mr. Villacorta, so yes, can sir. you go to the first slide, the title of your research paper? Yes, sir. So the rationale or the, 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 the reason why you chose this particular study is already clear. My question with regard to this uh, part of your research is the goal of your uh, study. So can you flash the, the title of your research again? Yes, sir. So what would be the objective of your study? The objective of my study is to is the use of DepEd policy based networking as a tool in the in, in to be used as a uh, bridge in order to improve the regardless of the implementation in the division of Las Piñas. So there are different What would you like to find out? What would you like would, to identify? I would like to identify sir the different debt policy based partnership mm -hmm. and networking and I would like to uh, to create a uh, uh, an environment where in the partnership of that and work and networking the culture of partnership and networking in the division of Las Piñas City uh, we can incorporate this debt and policy based partnership as a, in the different uh, partnership activities just like in the improvement of Regada Escuela sir, in Las Pinas. So you want to identify if there is an existing uh, partnership and networking in a particular school? Is that it? Uh, I would like to identify if the schools are really engaging themselves in the de different DepEd policy-based mm -hmm. partnership and networking because there are existing DepEd policy-based and networking uh, guidelines that is being uh, crafted within the division and within the uh, that within the division to uh, that is especially designed for to have an easier implementation of regard as well. So, so it's are it's about. it's more on the status of their participation and involvement in this particular area. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir. Oh, okay. Can we move on to your SOP? Yes, sir. Okay, so we are now going to have our SOP. Okay. So that's in the SOP. There. Yeah. Okay. In my statement of a problem, sir. Um, doc, I have here that the study was conducted to determine the implications of applying the different DepEd policy-based partnership and networking to all public schools in Las Piñas City for 
a better implementation of Brigada Espela, wherein uh, it is specifically aims to um, uh, identify the different different policy based practices in partnership and networking, which is being done during Brigada Espela by all the public schools in Lasbina City, and uh, to measure the awareness of all the public schools, most especially the selected respondents in Las Piña City in a different DepEd policy base, partnership and networking to be used in the, not only in Brigada Escuela implementation, but very I'm very particular search with Brigada Escuela. And uh, to measure the, how useful are the different DepEd policy base, partnership and networking in the implementation of Brigada Escuela. Okay, you see, uh, number one, let's go to the mechanics and format. Example, I want to identify a particular specific problem. How would I be able to do that? I'm going to do this by identifying the number of paragraphs. So in terms of mechanics, when you write the SOP, you put, place a number on the specific problems. So example, specific problem number, how would I you know? How aware are all the public schools in Las Piñas? So that is number one, two, or three. Number two, right? Okay, so lagyan nyo lang ng number, okay? So, in specific problem SOP number 2, this was what I was asking earlier. You want to find out the status of awareness of, of the school or of the teacher? Of the, of the school po. Of the school. How aware are all the public schools in Las Piñas? Di ba yung level of awareness nila? That's that's the first thing that we discussed earlier. And then I I would like to ano uh, uh, commend you kasi it is reflected in your SOP. So it's uh, already clear on that particular mechanics lang. Lagyan niyo lang ng number so it can be easily identified. Identified. Okay? And then the next one can uh, may I know what method you use? In terms of the method that I use uh doc it is descriptive method. Mm -hmm. And this method that I use is weighted mean on how we will be able to identify the to measure the uh, level of awareness and the level of usefulness of this step and policy based partnership and networking in regard as well implementation. Okay, uh, in relation to that, the method and the the ano, who will be the respondents of your study? The respondents of my study will be the school principal and the Brigada Escuela school coordinators since they are the frontliners in terms of the implementation of Brigada Escuela. They are the one who is responsible also in creating the strategic plans and action plans in the implementation of Brigada Escuela. That's why I was able to select, uh, in terms of the research concern, they are so far the best respondents I can use for. Actually, that's my next question. I would like to ask you, are they the best person or uh, respondents to identify the level of awareness of their particular school? Okay, so how uh, total number of respondents, how many? Do you have an idea? Yes, sir. Actually, I have uh, done the, the, the research until chapter 4 and 5. Mm -hmm. It is already, I have total of um, 68 respondents coming from the school heads and coming from the Brigada Escuela School Coordinators. 68 respondents are all, what, principals, teachers, heads, or? These are, hmm. these are uh, uh, school heads and uh, Brigada Escuela School Coordinators. These are also teachers. Uh, so, the, uh, will you be including the, including the principals and administrators of the school? Yes, sir. How many principals? Uh, Concern, sir. Um, there are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, as per as per the Excel form and the Google form is concerned, I have um, 30 principals, mm -hmm. oh, and I okay. also I I have uh, uh, 39 uh, regardless well as well coordinators. Okay, wait. The the area or the local that you're going to use is for the whole district of or a specific district in Las Piñas? In the whole division. Of, whole division of Las Piñas. How many schools do you have in the whole division? We have 39. At 39. You were able to get all of the administrators of the 39 schools? 
the nine administrators uh, doc are still confined mm. in the hospital okay. because of the COVID-19, while the 30 uh, uh, school administrators were were able to com- I was able to complete that the remaining 30 school coordinators as uh, school principal. Okay. Uh, d- don't forget to use a part, ano, ha, uh, the computation to be able to identify the number of samples acceptable to be used in your research. If not, this is what you need to discuss in your paper. Include in the scope and limitation that uh, due to uh, the, the COVID pandemic, some of the respondents were hospitalized and ca- cannot participate in the uh, data gathering procedure. You include that in the scope and limitation. My question, would that fall under limitation or delimitation? If, are in uh, uh, yes. The, the case in the school principal is in delimitation mm-hmm. because of the incident that happened to them. Um, we, we actually have a, a communication. I actually have a communication with them, but then of course, because of their uh, status right now, we are being delimited. Um, I, as far as I have understood that in the lesson that we had. Okay. Who decided, uh, did you decide not to include the principal, the hospitalized administrators? Or the, you the did not have a choice? Um, actually, uh, sir, I, I gave them all the link in the Google form link. Uh-huh. But then uh, the relatives tend to to uh, reply on my uh, on my chat that mm-hmm. is it possible that my uh, tita may be able to to ano to to kasi po na iwan yung cellphone eh yeah. nasa uh-uh. uh, ano daw po na center daw po uh-huh. so so going back to my question did you decide not to include them because of their uh, health health status or was it something that you cannot control it was something that I cannot control because mm. of my uh, my my objective is to get the 100 yeah. percent number of principals, but because of the situation, yes, uh, I was hindered. Po. Okay, that with that in mind, is it considered limitation or delimitation, wherein you did not have any control of the situation? What do you think? You have two choices. <laughs> what? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> is this the limitation? It's, is this the limitation? <laughs> it's limitation. <laughs> okay, when you, you do not have a control of the the elements or you know, anyway, that's okay. That's a limitation of the study. So in your heading you use scope and limitation. But if you decided, if the researcher decided not to include this because nasa hospital naman sila eh, wag na natin silang isama, consider na lang natin. Then you use the heading scope and de- limitation, ah, delimitation. So that's the difference between the two. Anyway, that's that's just a minor, ano, I'm just clarifying. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Villacorta. But before you go, again, I would like to get your confirmation if we can use uh, this video as a sample reference for our viewers in our YouTube. It is an honor, sir. Actually. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much and congratulations. That was a very good presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, next presenter. Uh, get ready.